Hey there, welcome to another episode of Music Express. My name is Twan and in this week's episode I'm going to tell you more about the Oasis album What's the Story Morning Glory. Plus we're going to London so I can show you the place where the picture was taken of the album cover. Enjoy! Oasis is an alternative rock and Britpop band that got formed in Manchester in the UK in the year 1991. The original members of the band were brothers Liam and Noel Gallagher, Paul Bonehead Arthurs, Paul Gwixi McGuigan and Tony McCarroll. In 1993 Oasis got a record deal when they signed to Creation Records. Their debut album Definitely Maybe came out in 1994 and the year after they started to work on the follow-up album What's the Story Morning Glory. And that one was recorded between March and June 1995, mostly in the Rockfield Studios in Monmouth in Wales. Producer of the album was Owen Morris, who mixed and mastered the Definitely Maybe album for the band as well. What's the Story Morning Glory came out on October 2nd, 1995. And in the first week of its release, it sold 347,000 copies. It did spend 10 weeks at the number one position of the UK albums chart. Plus in the US, it did reach the number four of the Billboard 200. The album features tracks such as Roll With It, Some Might Say, Don't Look Back In Anger, Champagne Supernova and of course Wonderwall. The cover photo of the What's the Story Morning Glory album was taken in Barrack Street in the heart of Soho in London in the UK. The street was chosen because it was home to quite a lot of independent record shops back then. These days you can still find a few record shops in the street such as Reckless Records, which is the red building on the left, which of course has the album cover in the window of the shop. And on the right side of the street, Sister Ray where you can find a cool picture of the album cover and Barrack Street in the basement of the shop. The two men on the cover photo are not Liam and Noel, as originally was the plan. It seems the brothers had a bit too much fun the night before, so they didn't show up for the cover shoot. The two people you see on the cover are DJ Sean Rowley on the left and Brian Cannon on the right. Brian is the designer of the album cover, which did cost £25,000 to produce. And if you look closely, you will see a third person on the album cover. On the left footpath in the background, you can see the producer of the album, Owen Morris, who is holding the album's master tape in front of his face. The cover photo was taken by Michael Spencer Jones around 5 o'clock on a Sunday morning. It is claimed that the What's the Story Morning Glory album sold over 22 million copies worldwide so far, which makes it one of the best selling albums of all time. In the UK it sold over 4.7 million copies, which makes it the UK's fifth best selling album of all time. And last but not least, What's the Story Morning Glory was also the biggest selling album of the 1990s in the UK as well. All right, that was it this week's vlog about Oasis and what's the story of Morning Glory. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye.